you want to avoid injuries, especially if you play a lot of badminton, it is important for you to cool down properly after a game. Coming right up, a cool down routine that you can easily follow. Hi, I'm Coach Kenny Asuncion and welcome to Badminton ABCs, where I teach you how to level up your game and all things badminton. So do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. I'm sure you want to avoid injuries when playing badminton. I've stressed enough on the importance of warming up, but it is equally important to do a proper cool down as opposed to running off after your badminton game. Our viewers, Rook Seruran and Sajit Udayakumar have suggested for us to make this cool down video, so here it is. Hi, on this video, I will be teaching you the proper cool down. So after every training session or even just playing a game, I would encourage everyone, especially my players, to do this cool down um, routine. So I normally start with legs apart and reaching as far as you can. So I'd like to stress that you try to push your lower back moving forward. Now, don't immediately force yourself to go forward like that quickly because you might pull something. Work your way slowly. And if this is the maximum, stay there. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep counting to 10 slowly. It's a slow count. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you can slowly even work your way farther as you are counting. After 10 counts, go back to the middle, bend to your right side. Again, count to 10. Slowly count to 10 and focus on your breathing. I'd like to stress that it's from this lower back that you are pushing yourself to go closer. If your reach is just until here, that's okay. But you try to target something you can reach. After 10 counts on the right side, you can now move to the left side. It's the same. You will feel a bit of stretch over here and even all the way here. So count 1 to 10 slowly. You can slowly aim your way, making your reach a little longer. So after 10 counts of this, you can now bend one leg and stretch to the other side. Okay. So it depends on how you want to stretch. You can face your right leg and push this way. Or maybe if you'd like to stretch this side, you can go this way. So it depends on what you're stretching. But both are good. And if you can do both, it would be better. Okay. So same on the left side. We count 1 to 10 as well. I would normally do this and then after stretch it up some more. Okay, so after 10 counts, put um, my feet together, try to make it go closer to your groin. And there you'll feel a bit of stretch in this area close to your groin. Try to push your knee more to the sides. If it can touch the floor, even better. If you want to do like an extra stretch, you can slowly move forward. Count 1 to 10 slowly. What's important is your breathing and slowly breathing your way through the cool down. Next, crossing one leg over the other and using the opposite elbow to push your knee so you feel the stretch on this area. Put one hand at the back so you don't go off balance. Okay, so use this push. If you still feel good, you can slowly look back. Slowly count 1 to 10. Because we're cooling down, it's supposed to slow down your heart rate. You're supposed to slowly get relaxed. So do not stress yourself. If you can't do this yet, you can hug your knee. Or 
if you can't put your elbow on your knee, you can use your hand to just push it slightly. So there's a feeling of the twist of your upper body. Change sides. Cross the other leg, the left leg this time, over the right leg. Again, use your elbow to push your knee inwards. Then you can face the back. Or if that's too much, you can just face the side or face the front. It should be comfortable. Okay, if anything feels painful or uneasy, I'd rather you stop and not do this exercise, this cool down. Okay, but if nothing hurts, this is a good stretch for you. Okay, after that, you just sit down, pull your elbow in, so you feel the stretch here. Slowly count 1 to 10 and focus on your breathing. After 10 counts, switch to the other elbow. Always make sure to do both sides, not only with your dominant hand because you want to balance things off. After that, you can put your arms to the back and stretch. Focus on your breathing, inhales and exhales. Do it slowly, deeper inhales, and slowly exhale. Stretch up. And after this, we will go to the wall. So after doing the floor stretches, I normally ask the players to go to the wall, one leg in front, front leg is bent, back leg is straight, heel to be flat on the floor, push your hip forward, okay? So you'll feel the stretch by your calf going up. So push, slowly count 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Switch leg. Make sure to focus, to push on your hip forward. Okay, slowly count 1 to 10, focus on your breathing, deep inhales and slowly exhale. After 10 counts, both legs at the back, push your hip forward. Be very careful, make sure your hands are flat onto the wall. Push, breathe, inhale, exhale and slowly count 1 to 10. Now, this is just an additional stretch that I really enjoy, that I personally like, okay? So, put your leg, one leg in front, and then the other leg to the back. This can feel a little uncomfortable when you start. It will sometimes be a little painful because if you're not flexible, it can be really painful. So just stay here and feel the stretch. Now, if you're a little more flexible, you can go down and stretch even more. Count 1 to 10 slowly. Again, you have to switch it to the other side, okay? So, try to put both hips down, okay? As, as close as you can go to the ground. If this is good enough for you, then just stay here. If you're more flexible, again, slowly go down. And because I'm very particular with my lower back, you know, my legs, I like lying down, hugging both knees, and flattening my lower back on the floor. This is such a good stretch. You'll feel so good doing this. If you want to rock to the side or make circles with your knees to massage your lower back, that's also good. Okay? Swing, swing, swing. Okay? Make sure that you're on a surface that's solid and not wavy at all. Okay? 
So from here, another one I like doing is this. It's like a figure four. You can bend to your right side. And then swing to the opposite side. Once again, let's balance it off. Doing the other side, figure four, going down on your left when your left leg is bent. And then on the opposite side, and face the opposite direction. Okay, those are just additional stretches. Don't forget to cool down after you train or play a game of badminton. Click on the video on screen for a warm-up routine for your whole body. Do you regularly cool down? Let me know on the comments section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, level up your game, and be the next smashing success.